U.S. Water Rocket Axial Deploy System Tutorial Locate and prepare a pair of 2 liter bottles. Print out 2 copies of the template sheet which can be downloaded from the link provided in this video's description. Use a ruler to confirm the scale of your template. Tape the template sheet together. Cut the template along the wave-shaped line. Wrap the template around a 2 liter bottle. Align the template mark with the bottle shoulder and secure it with tape. Trace the wave-shaped line around the bottle. Neatly cut the bottle off around the marked line. Trim the neck off the bottle top. Make a hole near the top of the bottle and tie a length of parachute cord through the hole. Glue a nose cone tip over the hole. This can be cut from a plastic Easter egg or a ball. Measure a 7 inch length of a second 2 liter bottle. Mark the cut line around the circumference of the bottle. Carefully cut along this line. Align the template for the servo hole pattern to one of the feet of the bottle and trace the holes onto the side of the bottle. Cut out the hole pattern using a sharp knife. Cut out any additional holes you will need for access to electronics, controls, or switches. Drill a pair of holes in the end for attaching the parachute. The servo is mounted behind the slot using double-sided tape or glue. Double-sided tape or Velcro is used to secure the servocron to the inside wall. A long rubber band is looped through the servo hole and tied off by looping it through itself and pulled tight. Take the leftover bottle scraps and mark two ring-shaped sections about two inches in width. Cut the two rings out. Compress one of the rings and insert it inside the second one to form a single spring with double the force. Drill two holes to the opposite sides of the spring. Pass the parachute cord through the spring holes and then attach the parachute to the cord. Secure the parachute cord to the holes drilled in the end of the electronics bay. The axial deploy system is completed and ready to fly. To arm the system for launch, fold and pack the parachute and place it on the end of the electronics bay. Compress the spring into a C-shape and hold it inside the nose. Place the nose and spring over the parachute on the end of the electronics bay. Wrap the rubber band over the wave-shaped trailing edge of the nose cone and loop the end through the servo slot onto the servo horn. Friction from the rubber band against the wave-shaped edge of the nose cone will hold it firmly in place. The entire system can now be fastened to the top of your rocket. The axial deploy system is now ready for flight. For illustrated step-by-step -step instructions for this tutorial, please visit uswaterrockets.com. Thanks for watching.